This is home to thousands of those tiny creatures that bug so many of us. Mosquitoes, specifically Anopheles gambia. Researcher Patrick Jones is trying to find a way to get these buzzing bugs to stay away from humans. So essentially this is a four-day-old female mosquito. The research starts at a mosquito's antennae, where their olfactory system, or sense of smell, begins their hunt for humans. Jones and fellow Vanderbilt researchers use genetic engineering techniques and testing, looking for a way to change a mosquito's behavior. During that search, Jones hit on a compound that turns on a newly discovered molecular channel. We were able to identify a molecule that had the strangest activity we'd ever seen, and that it could act on every single smell receptor complex that we'd ever tested. Jones says the new compound, now called VUAA1, activates the mosquito's nerves in her antennae, turning on the mosquito's entire smell receptor system at one time. By activating everything at once, we're not only limiting her ability to smell something else, but it's also going to have an excito-repellent effect, sort of a get-out-of-dodge response. Each time a nerve cell turns on, you see one of these little lines or spikes and so that when we treat with our compound, you see that it's turned on pretty much all the time. The finding could also lead to new ways to reduce the spread of malaria. Researchers say the new compound will be tested in malaria research in dome labs in Africa soon. Their new finding, researchers say, could also repel agricultural pests to keep them off important crops. But more research is needed, says lab director Dr. Larry Zweibel. Uh, we've just got an extension of our grant from the Gates Foundation, $2 million, to try and change the chemistry of this molecule to make it more user-friendly, to make it more volatile, more friendly for synthesis, to see if we can actually take that lead compound and develop that next generation of, of insect repellent. For now, Jones will keep working on the new compound with hopes that those itchy bites will become a thing of the past and mosquitoes will just buzz away. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.